run help in the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact right, right, and short of the right. sticks. Ready. On third down, it's Willis. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. And part of why they came to this week with a winning record is that they feed off of mistakes like this. And now it's a prime opportunity. Just moments in the game to get a short field touchdown off of their big defensive play. Now on the other side, they were already the underdog in this one. They just made their uphill battle just a little bit tougher. Herbert. Touchdown! Mike Williams. His second touchdown on the season. And the Chargers take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. Now this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, and lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield ready, ready. and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Second down, Willis looks to throw here. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Here we go. Here An incomplete we go. pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Willis, third and long. In trouble here. Down he goes, back at the eight-yard line. It's Khalil Mack that time, shooting in there to get him to the ground. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. Davis now to return it. A nice return that time, gets 12 yards back. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. An excellent way to start the drive there 18 yards. Eckler's long been one of the most underrated players in the NFL, but he's now starting to get his due. 915 yards, a career best last season with 13 touchdowns on the ground. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Chargers. Mike Williams, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now 14 to nothing. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. 
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. But well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like hey! about the message hurry, hurry. is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled Rest down a little bit and find our way back into this game. 18, Pioneer! Willis now off play action. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. There's a lot of discussion in the offseason about him having a big year and getting to the quarterback. They held him without a sack in week one, but how about here? Finally gets his first one of the season. In the offseason, said he changed his diet. Leaner feels so good this year. Excited to see what type of a season he can have. Seven Pirates, seven Pirates. Trap 50, trap 50. Huh. Now Willis. A short throw taken in by Conquo. Will go down as a gain of six. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really on, enjoyed watching hey. how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete now on third and long they'll look to throw that's to the sideline and incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. Here's Darius Davis on the return. A big boot that time, 57 yards, the official distance. And the Chargers will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. The Charger drive about to get going. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing to the break, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just now supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Defense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wants uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. They bring a man off the corner that time, and he gets home for a loss of six. But that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. On second down, here's Herbert. He'll fire this one deep for Eckler. And got his man complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. 
Now it's Herbert. And this is going to be intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets him on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a the pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week, when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding? But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We score. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. The Charger drive about to get going. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes... He's got a man complete! A big play there for L.A. 48 yards. It's a gain of 48 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And down inside the 15 he goes. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Up the middle with Eckler. And he's taken down at the 7 after a gain of 7. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down and three, ball on the seven. Here's Herbert. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. CD on the pick six, and I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did, and came through with a big-time pick six. On for the extra point is Folk. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. Fresh off of six the other way, it's Herbert. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, the first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. 
Didn't get it. But we know they're going to continue to be bold. Herbert. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here? They just drop everyone into coverage to crap the throwing lanes. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. That is caught, and they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. To the air again, Herbert. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. The touch and time there critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Here's second and ten. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big play that time on the catch and run. 32 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Pass out left finds Johnston. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Now Herbert going to change the look. They'll set up a throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line. First down. Surprised that wasn't a run. And you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? And a quick throw here. That's complete. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And that'll bring up a third down and goal. Here's Herbert. Sliding out of the pocket. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down. And my goodness, incomplete. And incompletion there on fourth and goal from the three. And the Titans defense will celebrate the goal line stand. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They've got momentum on their side. They were once down 14-0. Now, oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. The goal here is about getting any kind of positive yardage in this spot because you don't care who, you don't care how. You just want to try and buy a little space and get away from your own end zone. But in this spot, the defense was all over that play and equally motivated to stick them with a safety. Oh, my goodness. Now that is going to be out of bounds on the free kick. And that's a big mistake. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Herbert off of play action. Going deep here for Allen. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. 
They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. With that, he matches his receiving yards from a week ago, and we still have more than a half a football to play. It's a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. Quick strike to Eckler. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And quickly, they get to the line. Herbert throwing again. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Amadi Hooker. And the Titans force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They went backwards for the safety last time they had it. Fortunately, they get the ball back on the turnover, and now they'll begin with a first and ten. And no overrun for Willis. He goes down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Willis. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's third and ten. Third down, it's Willis. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. And now at this point in the first half, you got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. Going deep for Hopkins. And he's got it inside the 10. Touchdown, Titans. DeAndre Hopkins, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Titans have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead is up to five. the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. And especially since a touchdown here gets you the lead. Complete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Herbert now. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 
On first down, it's Herbert. That's caught at the 25. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Herbert back to the air. Eluding the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Austin Eckler, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Chargers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead is now two. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working pretty well. And most importantly, partner, and they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Play action. It's Herbert. And his throw is incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Now is second and ten. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Now a deep one for Johnston. It's caught at the ten. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They give him a gain of 38. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the ten. Now it's Herbert. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Touchdown! Mike Williams, 
three yards for the touchdown. And the Chargers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes this a nine-point game. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because they don't get some kind of points here. That next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second down, they go again with Henry. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Ready, ready. On third down, it's Willis. And that one too wide and incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Returnable here for Davis. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And they will take over first and 10. The Charger drive about to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Caleb Farley. And the Titans are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there working with a two-score lead third quarter. But that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things Titans. could start getting a little more interesting. Willis and the Titans come to the line now, first and 10 at their own 13. They'll start with a give to Henry. They find some open field here. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before it's taken down. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. To the 43, second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Play action, Willis. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Here's Willis rolling to his right. 
He's got the hook up to Hopkins. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Cut 19! Cut 19! Willis looks to pass it here. On the move to his left. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Titans. DeAndre Hopkins with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans have got it back to within a score. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. But I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that as he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, and delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. So the lead shaved to two now as the kickoff is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this. And got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first and ten, Herbert. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. That is caught. It's Williams. Touchdown, Chargers. Mike Williams, 28 yards as his guys are able to extend their lead. Extra point try now from Dicker. And that makes it a nine-point game. Extra score, Chargers 37. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm not no much a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he'll be upended at the 33, forming a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Here's Willis now off the play fake. They'll roll him out right. This pass deep for a cockroach. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. He's been terrific so far. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. I don't know what was going on there, but the end result, this is going to be a safety. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I, I'm not even going to try to unpack that one. Good move. Let's just leave that one alone, shall we? Cat's uh, got our tongue here in the booth. 
So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. This will be taken at the 10. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Dayon Henley in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. 19 tight, 19 tight. Back to throw, Willis. Going deep for Hopkins. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. And this offense on third down today, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This will be third and forever. 18, here. Here's Willis, third and long. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. It's taken to the 26. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Great blocking nearly sprung in there. 28-yard return. And the Chargers will be set up pretty well as they take over in great field position. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. He's airing it out for Williams. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Mike Williams, 46 yards. And the Chargers are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead now up to 14. Chargers 44, Titans 30. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Their catch made at the 25-yard line. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown. Two yards. 
Titans. And the Titans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Folk connects on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try to protect this little? My cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. On second down, here's Herbert. Throw left side, complete. That's Williams. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. On first down, Justin Herbert. He'll fire this one deep for Eckler. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. And in an afternoon where just about everything's gone right, there's an unlikely sight there. He's got a receiver all alone downfield, and he just overshoots him. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To the air again, Herbert. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. This back has been a dependable safety back all games. So he went back to him in his first read was covered. Just unable to connect. So the play results in no game. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Herbert. Open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Titans offense set to begin the drive. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. Now Willis on first and ten. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. A second and 11 from the 19. Left side, 19. Now Willis to throw. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Willis out of the gun. Yeah, he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. 
And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is fielded at the 27. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays, they're going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, right? You don't need the big shots downfield. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Quentin Johnston with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Chargers are on their way to a 2-0 start. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead now up to 14. Chargers 51, Titans 37. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. Another try, second and 10 now. 70 Rangers, 70 Rangers. 79 Broncos. Buffalo 18. Panther 11, Panther 11. Again to throw, Willis on second down. A shot downfield for Burks. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the Chargers are going to get the football back as we have reached the two-minute warning. After the turnover, here's Herbert. And that's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. With the late lead, Herbert's going to throw it. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. Yeah, he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one going to fall incomplete. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there waiting to be intercepted. That looked doomed from the start, but they took the deep shot anyway, and fortunately, it winds up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Across the formation, he's got a man, that's Allen. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, it's Herbert. He's got his man, that's Everett, the tight end. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. This will be caught at about the five. 
And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Again, Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Gerald Everett from four yards out. And the Chargers tack on another score as they have dominated this fourth quarter. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And no run back here for Moore. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25. Come on, come on. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. 18 rattler, 18 rattler. Shotgun snap to Willis. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Looks like they're going to keep throwing to the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. Cup 19! Ready! Third down, it's Willis. He's got a man complete! The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. 19 tight! 19 tight! First and 10 at the 42 yard line. 18, five in! Willis will look to pass again here. One last shot at the end zone. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Jamison Crowder, 42 yards. And the Titans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Now Folk for the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. They're going to pass here with Herbert. Buying time to his left. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ballgame.
And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're gonna cherish.